to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about matrices, okay? So, matrix or the plural for matrix is mat matrices. So, we will just be uh, trying to understand the concept of matrix, its application, and and how we could use uh, this uh, concept in mathematics to solve um, various uh, problems or mathematical problems. So, matrices or matrix is a... Uh, just write here the meaning of this term. It is a rectangular array of real numbers arranged in M. Sorry for that in M rows so we just have this one here and N columns okay so this is what a matrix is so it is a array of real numbers a rectangular array so we just have that one rectangular array of real numbers arranged in M rows and in n columns so if you are going to have the presentation of a matrix so this will be the example of that so for example we have here a matrix this is a1 a2 a3 so we have a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 so this is a 3 by 3 matrix so this is our n columns so we have you know this is our m sorry this is m so we have three rows then you have also n n columns so we have also three columns so the the nomenclature of a matrix is m by n matrix so we're in m and n represents the number of columns so for this one this is a three so we have three rows by three three column matrix okay okay so the word matrix so the word matrix was introduced by so the word was introduced by james Joseph Sylvester. So this is on the year 1850. So in 1850. So he is an English mathematician. So again, the size of a matrix is determined by the number of its, its rows and its column. Okay. So for example, we have also now the types of matrices. Okay. So we just have this one here, okay? So the type of matrices, okay? So types of matrices. So first we have the column matrix, okay? So the column matrix, so your, uh, your matrix has only one column so we could for example we have this matrix one two so we have an example here a column matrix okay we just um, a 
this one. So, a uh, column matrix is a matrix wherein it is only one column. So, for example, so the one, two, three. So, this is a column matrix. Then we have also a row matrix. So, it consists only of one row. So, we have row matrix. Okay. So, we could have this one as okay, one, two, three. Okay. Of course, there are many um, types of metrics, but we will just be focusing on these three. Okay, because this, uh, these two, sorry for that. So, these two, because this is, um, this is to have a distinguish what is a column and what is a row in a matrix. So, a column matrix, so one, two, three. So, there is only one column. Then, the row matrix, as per example, that is, um, has only one row. Okay. So, the first non-zero entry in a row matrix, in a row of a matrix, is known as the lead, leading entry. So we have also now the so-called leading entry and the leading element. So or the leading element. So for example, we have a matrix here. We should just drop down below here. Okay. So for example, we have here a matrix. So we have 6, uh, 2, 3, 7, 8, 11, negative 1, negative 2, negative 7. So the first non-zero number in a matrix or the first non-zero element is called this one. So 6 is called as the leading entry or also known as the leading element okay so then the diagonal from up, upper left to the lower right is called the principal diagonal so for example the upper left here to the lower right so this is our diagonal so if we're going to form a diagonal here so this one so we could call this one as the principal Diagonal. So we are now talking on the parts of a matrix. No? Only one. So diagonal. Or also known as the main diagonal. So the other term for this is the main diagonal. Okay. Then the entries containing on the main diagonal, the 6, 8, and the 7, is called the uh, diagonal entries okay so this, they are called the diagonal entries okay so if all the entries in the matrix above the main diagonal so are zero then it is called a lower triangular matrix so we, we have just write that one here lower triangular matrix so by definition if um, if all entries above the main diagonal is r let's use the proper grammar here r0 So, we just raise if here because we are ma making a statement. So, we are now having some technicalities in our grammar. So, all entries above the main diagonal are zero. So, what does it mean? So, how we will create such metrics? So, for example, we have this matrix here. This is just first have this one one zero zero two zero two three zero five nine zero so if all entries above the main diagonal is zero therefore our matrix could be called as a lower triangular matrix okay so we just this could not be zero so this is the one okay so this is this is our main diagonal or the 
principal diagonal. So if all entries above this diagonal is zero, so like this one, so this matrix is a lower triangular matrix. Okay? You have also the upper triangular matrix, just right here. Upper triangular matrix. Okay. So all entries below the main diagonal are zero. So this is exactly the opposite of the lower triangular matrix. Okay, so just erase this one. So if we will have we will have an example of that matrix. So we could have one, two, three, zero, five, six, zero, nine, uh, zero, zero, seven. Okay. So this is our main diagonal. So all the entries below the main diagonal, this one, are all zero. So this is a upper triangular matrix. Okay. So that is the upper and the lower triangular matrix. Then we have also the diagonal matrix. Okay. So when we say diagonal matrix, okay, so all entries above and below the diagonal are zero, okay. So we have an example of that one. For example, this is our matrix zero, 6, 6, 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2. Okay, so our, this is our main diagonal. So all entries above and below our main diagonal is are 0. So therefore, this is a diagonal matrix okay. okay so we'll now go to the question on how does a matrix become equal okay so for example uh, we have two matrices so just clear up our screen so we have matrix a okay then we have matrix b okay so when can we say that matrix a is equal to matrix b Okay, so if we are going to have the condition for this one, a okay, condition of equality for these two matrix, okay. So the two matrix can only be equal if, if and only if. Uh, their orders or their dimension are equal so this is the first condition and their corresponding corresponding elements are also equal
Okay, so we have this one. If and only if their orders are equal and their corresponding elements are also equal, we could say that our matrix or the two matrices are equal. So for example, if we have our matrix A as 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. And our matrix B is 1, 2, 3, 4. So they are both 2 by 2 matrix and their corresponding um, elements are also equal. So for example, this the leading entry is 1, the next is 2, the next is 3, 4. So they are all equal. Therefore, we could say that matrix A is equal to matrix B. Okay, so that is how we could have our mat matrices equal. Now we go to the operations in of matrices. Okay. When we say operations, this is subtraction, multiplication, division, and everything. Um, so operation is subtraction, division, uh, multiplication, and um, just review, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so I almost forgot my uh, for basic operation there. So first we will go to the sum of two matrices. Okay. So the sum of two matrices. Let's just move down our screen. Okay. So we could add two matrices of the same order. So the sum of A and B denoted by A plus B is the matrix for which each of the elements is the sum of the corresponding elements of A and B. So we could uh, add um, matrices of the same order. Okay. So if the matrices are not of the same order, then we could not sub subtract or add them. So the same goes with division, ah, uh, subtraction. The order of the matrix is the same okay for example we have matrix a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 then matrix b is 2 3 4 1 5 7 okay so we will have a matrix a plus matrix b so we will have this one. So we just need to add their corresponding um, elements, okay? Because they are they have they are in the same order, okay? So maybe we should um, have our okay. So we will need to add one plus two, then uh, two plus three, then we have. 3 plus 4. So th 3 plus 4. Then you have 4 plus 1. So corresponding. So 5 plus 5. So these are corresponding elements. And 6 plus 7. Okay. So we then up with 3, 5, 7, 5, 10, and 13. Okay. So if we now have. Uh, Subtraction, so A minus B, okay, so we just have also the corresponding element. So that will be 1 minus 2, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 4, and we have 4 minus 1, then we have 5 minus 5, and 6 minus 7, okay. So we'll end up with another matrix, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, then that is 3, then 0, and negative 1. Okay. So as you notice, the product and the, uh, the, product, the sum and the difference of, of matrices of our given example is the same or with the same order of the 
uh, of the um, addends, no? Or uh, or the sa uh, or of the two given matrices. So our given matrices A and B, they are um, they are a three by uh, they are a two by three matrix. So our answers will be our answers are also three by two matrix. Okay. Okay, so now we will be going to the multiplication of matrices. Okay, so we have here. Multiplication of matrices. So for example, we have our matrix A as we should write here, much brighter color. So 2, 4, 1. Okay, and negative 3, negative 1, 5. Okay. And our matrix B is negative 4, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3, 5. Okay, so we have that one. So the main... Um, the main condition for us to be able to multiply matrices is that our column, okay, so our um, our column on A, so the column, this is the N, must be equal, so N, N sub A, must be equal to the rows which is m of b so that is only the condition so for example this in this example this is two two columns for b we have two rows so therefore we could multiply this one so if you will say a a times b so we will have so we need to just to multiply um, each so these two to each of the elements so we need to multiply the elements of the first row to each of the column on our matrix B okay so we have 2 times negative 4 then add plus negative 1 and uh, negative 3 times negative 1 okay then we have um, this next column. So we have 2 times 1 plus 2 times, oh no, not 2, but negative 3. Negative 3 times 2. Then last one, we have 3 times 2 plus negative 3 times 5. Okay, we have now this one. Just erase this one here. Okay. The next, we have 4 times negative 4 plus negative 1 times negative 1. Then 4 times 1 plus negative 1 times 2. Okay, so I believe this is not 4 but 1. Ah, 4, okay, okay. So 4 times 1, okay. Same. Then we have 4 times 4 times 3. So this is uh, 4 times 3 plus negative 1 times 5, okay. Then last, we have 1 times negative 4 plus 5 times negative 1. So 5 times negative 1. Then we have 1 times 1. So 1 times 1. Then plus 5 times 2. Then we have 
5 times 3 plus 5 times 5. Okay. So, this is, this is negative 4. Okay. Then, we'll just simplify all of them. So, this is negative 8 plus positive 3. So, negative 8 plus positive 3. So, that is equal to negative 5. 2 plus negative 6. So, that is negative 4. Okay. 6 plus negative 15. So, that will be negative 9. Then, negative 16 plus 1. So, this will be 15. Negative 15. Then, 4 plus negative 2. So, this will be positive 2. Then, 12 plus negative 5. So, this will be 7. Positive 7. Negative 4 plus negative 5. So, this will be negative 9. Then, we have negative uh, 1 plus 10. So, that will be positive 11. We have 15 plus uh, 25. Okay, this is 5 times 3. Okay, what is this 5? This is not 5, but only 1. Okay. Okay, so that is 1 times 5. Okay. So, 1 times 3. Okay, let's just check. 1 times 3. So, 1 times 3, that will be 3 plus 5 times 25. So, this will be 28. So, and this is now our answer. Okay, so that is how we are going to multiply matrix. So, the, the division of matrix, we will just divide this one into another video. So, uh, the division of matrix will be just be shown in another video and will be discussed for another day. So, uh, this is uh, the topic for now. So, up to the multiplication of matrices. So, I hope you understand something and as always, enjoy learning.